Okay, this is the end of last week. Uh, how many families? So remember, family is Jasmine, not Jaren. I know that's what everyone makes a mistake on. This mistake is four stars, so happens quite often, and it's very easy. You should not make that mistake. However, let's see. How many people are in your family, or how many people does your family have? Okay, these are the most natural ones, so you don't have to remember these, but you can say these ones too, in case you have a question. Okay, so how many populations? Ah, so you can't say how many population because you have to say, um, if you say how many population, you I don't know if that's okay in Chinese, but in English, it's like we only have one population. Is that how many people are in America? Let me say that too. Any of those are okay. And it's a really simple mistake, so I'm going to give it four stars. Okay, how many money? This one will be whiny, but <sighs> here's the problem. When you have rules in a language, language is made by people. People are not perfect. So, it should be many monies, shouldn't it? <laughs> How many monies? Yeah. Okay. It should be that. Because countable, right? Count money, right? You can count money. It's not water. You cannot count water. So here, this is the right answer. However, it should be countable. So, Many students study English and they remember the rules, but this rule, but this rule, but this rule. The problem with any language is we don't always keep the rules, even the most basic ones. This should be the answer, but this is the answer. So that's why I don't blame you. Okay, here. I work as possible as I can. This is five star mistake because happens every day. And it's very easy. It's not difficult to remember. As much as I can or as much as possible. Okay? So people say as possible as I can because it's difficult to remember this. And this, it's easy to remember this because this is the same. So everybody forgets it. They put So that's the problem. Also, that's the problem when you study English um, and you only study grammar, grammar, and you have a test on grammar. Um, it makes you remember the difficult ones, not the useful ones. The useful ones sometimes are difficult, but sometimes they're not. So you remember all the difficult ones if you're a good student, but they're not very useful sometimes. Anyways, you remember this one, and you remember this one, and then you put them together, yeah, and you make a mistake. Okay, I very like. Yeah, very good, very bad. If it's a verb, then you cannot put very in front. You have to put very behind, and you have to say very much. I like very much it. Uh, I'm going to take
check that out. Because that's kind of weird. Okay. And we're going to finish there. And I will see you guys next week.